Well, welcome back to the next question. And this is the question we have. So let's go straight to the solution of this question. Um, uh, this, we're still under the uh, Bernoulli differential equation. So step one, uh, divide, uh, divide, uh, divide through by what? By y minus t. Okay. And don't forget what we said that um, Bernoulli's equation is of the form uh, the y, uh, the x plus p of x y equal to what? Uh, t of x y n. Okay. So in this question, my n is what? My n is minus c. Okay. So the p of x in this place is one here. There's no p of x. It's one. Okay. So that's that. And Bernoulli's equation uh, is of first order differential equation. Okay, let's go straight back to the solution. So divide two by this, then we have uh, y two dy dx plus this will be, this is having power one, so one. Since we are dividing, it will be minus to bracket what minus two uh, equal to what dx, and that will give us a uh, y two uh, the y uh, the x uh, plus minus times minus that's plus so one plus uh, one plus two that's a three you got to what the x and I, and I want to observe something when if you divide the y uh, the x by over y two y minus two okay so there is a one here so it means one over this one it is 1 over y squared. Okay? And when you reciprocate a fraction, it will give you what? The, the, that particular function there. So that would be what? y2. So that's that from that. Just take note of that. So that's how I got my y to power, to power 2. Then, next substitution, let y to power 3 be v. Then differentiate implicitly. Uh, implicitly with respect to uh, x so that will be equal to the v uh, dx equal to what? 3 uh, y2 to the y uh, dx the 3 will go to the front then the function again minus 1 ok, call this one star Call this one double star. Call this one uh, equation one. Okay. Let's now see relationship. Let's see relationship between the equation one, the equation star, and equation double star. Check the double star. This is also here too. But three is here. Three is not here. Okay. So multiply this equation by what? By three. So that this and this can be the same thing. And we can substitute uh, the V dx there. Okay? So equation one, uh, equation one, uh, multiply by what? Multiply by uh, three. So if you do that, then we have three y squared, uh, the y dx uh, plus three, y cube then equal to what? 3 e to the power x call this one equation 2 ok then now plug in now substitute uh, star 1 star 2 into equation 2 equation 2 and that will be equal to uh, that will be equal to uh, don't forget this one. That's uh, the BDX. Is it? That's the BDX. Uh, that's the BDX. Then plus uh, Y cube. That's a V. That's 3V. You got what? 3 e to the power X. So this is linear. What is here? And what is here? At the same thing. So this is what? This is, uh, this is a linear. This is linear differential equation. This is linear, then we solve it 
solve it in a linear differential way. Okay, so in that case now, P of x is equal to what? Uh, is 3, and Q of x is what? Q of x is this, that's a 3 EX. Okay, so the general solution, uh, the solution, the solution uh, is, is linear in V, so that would be equal to, uh, it has a formula 1 over integral factor, uh, open bracket, integral, integral factor times uh, Q of X, then uh, DX of C. So that's the general solution. The integral factor is, uh, integral factor is this, that's this formula. There's a formula for integral factor. Okay, that's a formula for integral factor. Let's substitute there. That'll be e. My p of x is what? Is three. Uh, dx. P of x is what? Is three. So if you do that, that's equal to what? That's equal to e to what? E three x. Okay. Uh, don't forget. Uh, integral of integral of uh, dx is what? Is x. Okay. So this three here can be outside the integration. And that'll be three what? And that'll be what? That'll be three, three x. So that's that on the integral factor. So the general solution will not be uh, y, v is what? You know that v is what? V is y three. Okay. So that'll be y three equal to uh, one over integral factor. Uh, this is one over here. And that'll be equal to what? That'll be equal to e minus three x. I want to remove that uh, one over, okay? So open brackets. Uh, then let's do the integral. Integral factor. That's a integral factor. That's a e three x e three x times q of x is e, that's a e uh, three times e to power x uh, dx plus c. That will give me y to power 3 equal to e to power, e to power minus 3x. If you combine this one together, exponential, exponential, okay, this, the bases are the same, add the power together, so that will be 0 of what? Uh, 3e4x uh, dx plus c. Okay? And that will be equal to um, 3 e4x over what? Over 4. This 3 is just a constant. Okay? So when you have exponential and you want to integrate, it will be the same function, but you divide by what? By the derivative of the power, which is 4. Okay? Times this one, e minus 3x. Okay? Then, uh, plus c e minus 3x. Uh, this one times this is integral, this one times the constant there. So that's a what? That's a y3. Okay? Then, this is a minus 3x, this is a plus 4x. So combine them together, so that will be equal to what? Uh, this is 3 here, that will be 3 over 4, uh, e to power x. If you combine this exponential and this one, okay? Then plus what? Plus c, e, minus 3x y3. So that's the answer. The only thing we can do is just to take the cube root of both sides. That's the only thing we can do now. So y will now become uh, 3 over 4 uh, e to the power x plus c e minus 3x to the power what? 1 over 3. So and that finished the work.